Hello, let's have a look to the new improvements in the instrument setup. Um, first of all, we can now access to a huge uh, template database. So, first we will open this uh, menu here and uh, pin it in a fixed way on the desktop and we will go into the device template and in this empty area here we will right click and go into import from template database which is a new item you had not this in the previous versions so let's click there and now we have a full list of manufacturers and as you can see there are a massive number of things. When in this list here you can uh, select on the left side and see all the devices available for each manufacturer. Or if you want to go directly to a manufacturer you can just click somewhere in the left list type on your alpha keyboard control F which make appear here a smaller field search field where you can type the name of the manufacturer you are looking for so let's type uh, clay packy and as you can see it just clays enough to display and filter anything about clay packy pictures so if I click on now on this uh, manufacturer item I will see on the right side all the models proposed for this particular manufacturer and again on the right side if there are plenty of pictures like well here to make things faster we can again type control F clicking first on the right control F to get the search field again in this area and if for example I'm looking for a Sinus I just start typing Sinus and you know after just a, a couple of characters I can get a full list of what is concerned by my search and then after doing that you just need to click somewhere on the model you need and click on select of the window and you will see now on your left side in your uh, play menu a new manufacturer group in which you can find your sinus. Now that we have got all the pictures we need in this menu we can now use them as usual to uh, decide how they're going to be patched in my show. So what's new in version 2 is that now if I click on this uh, template and drag and drop it to any DMX address location let's say 56 and I release as you can see the uh, wizard now will open directly with the right picture and also with the right universe and DMX address fitted. You have just now to say how many you need and from which number. So if for example now if I want four seniors from number 11 I just type 11 there and go with a tab key on my keyboard to the next field and say uh, I want four and I have just to press OK 
and I get directly my four fixtures at the right uh, locations. We can do the same if I drag and drop on the instruments and this time the wizard will open with the right instrument selection instead of the address. So you can choose whether you know the DMX address and then in the second step you uh, assign a channel number or uh, vice versa you first decide instruments and then in this window decide of the DMX address. What is cool now is um, as you can see there is a, uh, an extra fill here which was not there first and again now uh, let's say I will patch a couple of new seniors somewhere else, and uh, I will say DMX Universe 2 I wanna get about four units again and this time uh, DMX address 1 but what has changed now is you have this interval uh, field where you can decide if you prefer to think about the interval between two devices or the three DMX address you want to leave between them. Let me explain. These instruments here have a number of channels that I don't remember. The only thing I know is that I need, let's say, uh, 50 channels between each such that my first one will be 1 and my second one will be 51 and so on. In this case I can give here the uh, interval I want. And of course the gap, which was the usual field you already know, will be adjusted depending on the interval value you have entered here. So as we know that there are 40 channels in, in this Senius, as soon as I say I want uh, 50 channels interval, that will leave a gap of 10 channels between each fixture. So let's see what it does. I confirm and go now into my DMX Universe 2. And as you can see, uh, you can see that my first instrument will go from 1 through 40 which leaves these 10 addresses here available and then the next device will start from 51 to the next uh, 90 channel and again so you can see you have a gap of 10 channels between each picture the difference is that now you can decide without knowing exactly the number and calculating uh, uh, complicated things. You just decide what is the address you want on each fixture. Now, let's say that you would like to change the universe where you have patched some devices. So, for example, I would like to get this uh, device here to not be anymore in Universe 2 but to be in Universe 1. Um, let's try with a free number which has some space in uh, the other uh, universe. So let's move for example this one here but we want to get into the DMX Universe 1 because we have some free space here. So of course we could do it from here just changing uh, as universe prefix or we could also uh, go into Universe 2 and move this device in Universe 1. Okay, so now if I go into Universe 1 see my uh, instrument has moved now to this universe one. If you 
want to move uh, a big bunch of channels or instruments uh, from one universe to uh, another one. You, you couldn't do it from here because uh, that's just uh, DevX blocks. So we, we need to think of uh, instruments, device. And uh, to do that, we could open here this universe branch and this one. And we could say, um, if we use again this number one here, we could say, I want this one in universe two and move. And again, it would do the same. It would switch this uh, picture to this universe two. And of course, I could do it from uh, a number of uh, a list of devices. I would like to move from one universe to another one. Okay, I won't do that because of course there was some conflict. If it's difficult to do it like now because you have a lot of device and dimmers uh, per universe. So your list will be very long and it can be very difficult to move from uh, up of the list to the, to, to, to the bottom. So in, in this case you could easily open a new device, uh, a new let's say instrument setup and you can display uh, as many uh, universe you need here and you could bring uh, any device let's say uh, this one for example and you could from universe 2 to universe 1 of this window which would work as well so you see you can manage your display such that you have always the right information in front of you and the last new point you can find in this version is that now you can uh, drag and drop uh, several uh, DMX address dimmers to instrument. So um, we can do, for example, I go farther in my list and say I want this free address here patch to uh, instrument 25 so as usual for multi selection uh, you use your shift and control key on your alpha keyboard and you can say for example you click first on this one and you hold you hold shift uh, down and you press the next the last one of your lists so let's say this one it will select all the block like we already saw in the channel selection or if it's not let's say uh, a contiguous uh, list you can also click somewhere and you hold control down on your alpha keyboard and you can pick as many uh, dimmers as you want you know? so le le let's take those three ones here and you just click on one of them and you drag it to the uh, channel number you need patch to 25 and you see uh, you get now your free uh, DMX addresses on the right uh, instrument and that's it for the patch